test some theories. There's an awful lot of... There's a Yaogwai over here. Yao Guai. He heard me. And he was not amused. One more. Thank you. Oh, there he goes flying. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Might as well take some Yao Guai meat. And the ants are over here. This one. This one. Another Yao Guai. Let's um, try to get a sneak up on it a little bit. Nope, he was too fancy. He caught me. My weapon is broken. Oh my god. Please. <sighs> I guess an assault rifle is fine then. <laughs> Mr. Yalgwai, stop. Thank you. Stop. Get some help. Why caution? What caution? You can't just throw caution up. And not give me any markers anywhere. Let me vats anything. Okay. Let's do some... Healing here. Pork and beans. Let's check our stats real quick. Let's do a rat away. Two of them. And let's do for each of our legs. <laughs> hmm. I don't understand. Why caution? No caution. MDPL 13? Power station. MDPL 13 power station. Well, what's going on in here? Hello there. One of the great joys of the Fallout universe is just wandering around finding weird things. Okay. Looks like we got some pre-war money. Looks like I had a safe that I can't get into because I don't have any bobby pins. Oh. A Braxo cleaner. Scrap metal that I need for somebody and I can't remember who, but I'm sure I'll figure that out. A bottle cap mine. Schematics. A railway rifle. Oh, I've been holding on to them spikes. 
75 or higher. Great. Oh, I managed it. Bottle caps, pre-war money, and some scotch. You know, uh, sometimes I can manage it. Sometimes it just don't work. Let's go across to this giant building and see what's going on. couldn't tell if that was something sneaking up on me, breathing down my neck, or if it's just the sound of the wind. Sorry if y'all hear me opening and closing my soda. I just can't have it open in case I knock into it and then it goes everywhere. Well, usually I have my drinks like in cups, but... Today I have a bottle of Dr. Pepper, strawberries, and cream. I don't know if anybody is a Dr. Pepper fan out there, uh, but they have the new flavors. And I will tell you one thing, the strawberries and cream one, rads, uh, not rad scorpions, feral ghouls. Uh, the strawberries and cream one doesn't do much for me, but, I need a smoke rifle, but the, um, Dr. Pepper with cream soda. I, oops, I really like that. Uh, let's see, Rad X. And, yeah, that's like my new favorite um, soda. My new favorite Dr. Pepper is the Dr. Pepper with cream soda. It's very good. Ugh, the turrets. I'm just gonna have to kill them. Okay. AP for another one. Oh, why are you being finicky? Uh. Make sure nothing's coming up behind me. Oh, a glowing one. Okay. I gotta kind of wait until I get a good enough spot here. The glowing ones are hard. And oh. smarter, apparently, than all the other ones because it didn't get caught. Oh, jeez. Is he resurrecting them? Oh, shoot. He's trying. How can I not have enough pistol bullet things? Hunting rifle. Laser rifle. Man, I don't have enough of anything. Now stop it. Knock it off. Oops, I didn't want to grab that butter knife, but I guess it's mine now. I wonder why he couldn't resurrect them.
Come on, buddy. They all piled up on top of each other. Yes, let's take some drinks from the water fountain. I'm not too worried about radiation because I do have a lot of rataways still. I think I have like 15 of them. I looked at everything in there. Now I can go in here. See what's up. I think this was it. Some recon armor. Recon armor helmet. At right, 250. I got one. No. There we go. Oof. Don't need the scotch. I think that's it. No, there's an upstairs too. It's where the glowing one came from. Oops. My computer lagged out a little bit. I guess let's go straight down first. See if there's anything interesting over here. Nope. Okay, then let's go here. Anything interesting? Nope, my Rad X wore off though. Okay. Then we'll go Let's take another one. Uh, this must have been where the glowing one was. The typewriter. A safe. A f oh no, Fisto! <laughs> named after our favorite robot, or I guess the robot was named after it. Intriguing. see garrison one that's not good imagine four okay survive is not as many sometimes my brain just doesn't work with these things See, playing this just makes me want to play Fallout 4, so maybe after this I'll play a playthrough of Fallout 4. Maybe not right away, because I actually have a few different games that I want to try. I got that Jedi... Oh, what is it called? I think it's Jedi Fallen Order. The older one. They just came out with the sequel, but I hadn't played either. So I wanted to play that, and I have, um, mechanic, measures, 
And I have Disco Elysium that I wanted to try. And a few other ones. I got Dredge, all that kind of stuff. But this game does make me want to play Fallout 4. Whoops. I hate that that counts. Mm. Perilous? No. I already forgot. Curtains? No. Oh, man. I'm real bad at this, y'all. It's probably just to open this safe, so let's see if we can do the safe. No. Oh, ha. Man, this um, single bobby pin has really <laughs> been putting in the work for us. Oh, I don't need the brass knuckles either. Because now I have Fisto. And my question is, I mean, this probably has lore on it. I should try again. Banditos. Mm. One. Arrested. Four. Inserted. Yeah, I don't know want to know what, but inserted one. Oh, it was just for the thing. Okay, that kind of sucks because I was hoping there'd be some Laura in it. Uh, okay. But I think that's it. The glowing one must have been up in there. He was the manager. Let me speak to your manager. else important I can't get into this one it's hard okay ah oh, shoot what and why why are you guys hiding in the dumpsters what is happening with my mouth my mouse I think I'm out of time. Yep. You know what, y'all? Fine. I want this one dead on a fucking plate. And this is why I don't do Radex pack of cigarettes. Oh. I'm out of You know what? Fine. I'm going to fisto you. I want this one's head. Can I use Haha, yeah. <laughs> I knocked your gun out of your hands. <laughs> sound. There we go. I knocked his block right off. Private contract, again, to kill me. What'd I ever do to you? <laughs> Is it the same one? Schematics. A crutch, steam gauge assembly, fission battery, and pressure cooker. Interesting. I am not, if you couldn't tell from that wild ride, I am not, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? A melee fighter. 
That was wild, wasn't it? On we go toward Dave's town or whatever. <coughs> that might be it. Dave's town. Man. Nothing but the wide open road, huh? this point between point A and B is line C. Well, that's interesting. And what exactly is this? Very high radiation levels. The Annual dose limit may be reached in only 0 0.5 seconds of exposure. <coughs> Got some rad X. She's, who's shooting me? I don't like this. I think we're gonna have to do an about face, y'all. If we can make it out of here, we just gotta go far enough away that we can fast travel. And we need to go, we just need to go to Moira at uh, Megaton, and then we can. I don't have any bullets. And then we can get some bullets and some, you know, all the important things. Leave me be. Are we far enough away that we can fast travel? Let's see. Nope. Enemies are still too close. Hey, help me. Don't run away. Help me. What do you need? You got any, uh, yeah, let me Take see what you got for sale. Holy crap. <laughs> I need, like, everything. Uh, you can have all of my five millimeter rounds. And I want... Your stim pack that you have, which is great. And all your ammo. And... Oh, he has a crutch. I'll take that. And... I'll take a pressure cooker, too. And what else? He doesn't have anything. I guess I won't sell you all of them then. Because you can't pay me for them. Nope. Cancel. Um, hunting rifle. Combat shotgun. I want that. Man. This guy really has nothing, huh? Oh, uh, let me get rid of some weight. Carton of cigarettes. 
You can't buy them all. You can't even buy four of them. Um, pack of cigarettes. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Oh yeah, I got some stuff Let me that take needs repairs. Look. Hold on, holy moly. Fix my combat shotgun, please. Um, let's fix this. Let's fix this. Let's fix my sniper rifle. Why not? Also, my Chinese assault rifle. Bye. Okay, bye. Good luck. I'm running, yo. And now I'm hiding. And as soon as I'm not in danger anymore... Somebody humming? Nope, that's a Yagawai. Nope, I don't have any more bullets for that. <laughs> don't run away. You started this, now you have to finish it. Shoot him in the tush. There. Now. I'm going to eat this Yagua meat. And then I am going to try again to fast travel. Thank you. Holy moly, that was a hoot and a holler and a half. Clinic, commons, I need everybody, I need everything. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For <laughs> us, to for me. the wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it, with our thanks. Hey, thanks. Certainly, thank you. Certainly, it's the least I could do after all you've done. I need to go into the clinic. I hear my heart beating in my brain. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. <laughs> Rule one, don't bother me. If you but... do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Your bedside manner is beautiful. You know who might have a lipoplasticator or a microdermal graphalizer? I'm not easily manipulated, so don't bother. Okay, here's 100 caps. For the local, the locale of the lipoplasticator or microdermal graphalizer. Probably down at Rivet City. Anything that has any use out here, they snatch up for themselves. That damn Pinkerton don't share nothing. Okay. I'm hurt and I need Good help. Good lord, this'll take some work. One hundred caps worth of work. Man, alright, here's your money. This may sting a Jeez. little. Jesus Christ. Did you set <sighs> this yourself? Well, I'm gonna have to re-break it. No, you know who said it for All me? All right, that should do it. A you need wife. anything else? There was something else I needed. Let's get on with it then. Uh. Mm, I guess. What do you know about the people? A doctor here? doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers. He doesn't. You can trust me. I'm a doctor myself. <laughs> All right. I suppose someone with medical training has to have at least a bit of compassion. 
And maybe you can talk some sense into the boy. Oh. Leo Stahl. That boy got himself a problem with Jet. I've caught him in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Not even his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. Oh, I don't know. No. I can't reach him. Maybe you can. Okay. We have to help a kid with a drug problem. Or it's going to be like, uh, what was his face? Ian West? And I think that it's a child, and it turns out to be a fully grown person. Um, what can you tell me about Megaton? I have to say, of hmm. all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. Well, that's nice. Well, what do you do around here? I'm the town doc. The doctor. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. Okay. Well, um, I need to buy Planning medical supplies. Planning on going out and getting shot up, eh? Always, honestly. I'm gonna buy them all, but I know what you need. You need seven cartons of cigarettes and 25 packs of cigarettes. And a butter knife. Sure, why not? Some Abraxo cleaner. And enough five millimeter rounds to make this worth my while. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. He's giving me his money. That's how I like to do business. We just can't go too far. He only has a certain amount of money. That's close enough. Do you have any... Nope. Okay. It was a pleasure doing business you with done? you, Doc. Good. Try not to hurt yourself. I make no promises because I'm running around doing jobs for every single person around here. Ain't nobody wanting to do the jobs, so I got to do it. You know what? I'm also going to steal all your stuff. That's right. What you going to do about it? There ain't nothing you can do. That's cause... secure for a reason. Yeah, I know. I know. How's it going? I like your knife. I don't want to pickpocket Doc Church. I just wanted to... Don't worry about it. I'm not detected. <laughs> Alright, have fun. <laughs> oh my god. What? Was that you? Doc. I better like... Hold on. I gotta listen to your heart, or your lungs, I mean. I think you got the pneumonia. I think you need... <laughs> what? Why do you keep hacking up half of a lung and then asking me what? Or is this guy hacking up half a lung? You good, son? You good? I don't know who that was, but they need... They need help. Okay, now that I'm not imminently dying anymore. Uh, the bomb ap appears inert, but further examination reveals that it is still operational and quite dangerous. With the right gear, it would be trivial to rig it to explode. To disarm the bomb, however, it would take a highly skilled explosives expert. Land. Explosives Attend is what I gotta work on. To the okay. Huh? Who? What? I need to dump some points into... No, why is everybody minding my business? Mind your own. I'm just wandering around looking at stuff. Everybody's minding my business. I need to dump some... Lucy West. What brings you back to Megaton? 
Well, I'm looking for Moira. Jericho. I just don't know my way around this town. Oh, this might be a house that I can get. The Brass Lantern. What's the Brass Lantern? Hell of a day, isn't it? Is it a restaurant? Hello. It, will you? Well, what? what is this place? There's nothing here. Can I help you? Yeah. Hello. Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Whatever. I need to get back to work. All right. See you later, sucker. Stop staring. We only sell drinks here. Okay. Supplies. Whoops. It's this way. I'm gonna have to wait, I think. Yep. It's too late. Let's wait until... I guess 8.40 in the morning. We'll just stand here staring into space for 12 hours solid. And everybody who walks by is like, are you good? And I You've just... been rather busy lately. Hello. Asking questions. Mm -hmm. Investigating. Mm -hmm. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? Mm. A detective for hire? If you give or me all the clues. Or do you have some kind of personal <laughs> grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Uh, who are you? I think you're confusing me with something, someone else. Look, whoever's missing android is, whoever this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? What I do with my own time is my own business. I think I want to do with this one. Look, whoever this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help this kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? No. What would you have me do? Where this conversation is over, Miss Watts. Now step aside. What would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. I'm going to assume you Present ripped it right it out of Dr. his head. to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll save a man's life. Anything else I should know? If I help you, is there some kind of reward? What's this movement you mentioned? I have to go now. Well, what else? Anything Just else understand know? that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human. He acts human. He believes he is human. But even if he's not... Even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. Um, what's this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves... The Railroad. The Railroad. Mm. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. If I help you, is there some kind of a reward? Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? Maybe some caps. What about human slaves? Don't you try to, try to help them too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Can I join the railroad? Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead. And you can consider yourself a member in good standing. All right. I have to go now. You know what you need to do. See you later, sucker. <laughs> okay. Man, I thought this would be open by now. Moira, where are you, girl? 
Moira. Moira! I want to get this done. Saloon. I don't need to go to the saloon, though. I think I just need to do whatever I'm doing here. When does Moira's shop open here? It's 8 a.m. Thank you. All right, Moira. How are those hot little potatoes? Well, they because are you know they're on the ground, like potatoes, and hot because they um explode. Anyway, what's up? Well, first, Moira, I'd love to say that your sense of humor is fascinating and amazing. Just so you know, uh, I got through Minefield alive, and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well. Always since I sent you out on this, anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Nerve-inducing. The whole place is a death trap. Watch the details and look for broken patterns. That's where the traps are. Oh, disarming, it's real easy. You just jump up and down on it. You go first. Let's try the perception check. That's so true. For all of life, really but especially the parts involving landmines. Mm -hmm. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. Okay. Frag grenades and schematics for a battle cap mine. Okay. That completes the first chapter's tasks, right? Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. Mm -hmm. We've still got two more chapters to go. Okay, I'm starting. I'm ready to start researching for the next the chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Oh, jeez. I'm going to hate myself for this, but what do you mean by handle, um, what do you mean about handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, <laughs> it'd be you. Right. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? You know, that's what I was just thinking. I was like, well, I get injured. I mean, I came here to uh, Megaton today with my heart pounding in my head. So, uh, I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come here to do, uh, come here when I do. It could possibly be worth breaking my bones over. I don't think I want to do that one. Okay, what? Did you possible? know when bones break and reheal, they grow back tougher? In a way, you'd be repaying yourself. <laughs> Once I make sure you survive, of course. Mm -hmm. But in a more tangible way, I can give you a modified environmental suit of mine. How's that sound? Got yourself a deal, baby. I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two, and I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll, I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Okay. I've been thinking about the guide. Can I ask you something? Absolutely. 
I'll bet you haven't been thinking about the guide as much as I have. Why do you really want to write this guide? Well, it'll help humanity rebuild, right? I mean, who doesn't want to help humanity? Besides, it's bound to work out better than some of my other projects. I mean, with you helping and all, <coughs> could it go wrong? Excuse me. Uh, well, it's a big undertaking, and we've got to make sure we do it right. What do you mean about your other projects? Have there been problems? Oh, I believe guess we've me. we got to do this right. I know. I've been a bit careless with other projects, but this, this is important. This means something. I think you're right. Now let's get back to work on this book. Okay, but it could be bad if the book's misleading. People could get hurt. Oh, I hadn't really thought about it like that. I don't want anyone to get hurt. That's the last thing the guide should do. Exactly. Well, we're just going to have to make sure it's accurate and useful and great then. You and me. Together, we can research and write a masterpiece. Okay. Do you sell any specialty oh, do items? I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Mm. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you <coughs> name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. I see. So it sounds like it's the junk jet, right, from Fallout 4? Uh, hold on just a second. I want to check Good luck and see what I need for this n rail gun. Data, no schematics for a bat bottle cap mine. I have the crutch. I have the pressure cooker, so I need a steam gauge assembly and a fission battery. Well, how do you feel? Mm. You seriously want me to get out, go out there and hurt myself for your book? Oh, don't think of it as crippling yourself for me. Think of it as getting free treatment when you eventually end up getting yourself hurt. That's cool. So I'm going to see what, what do you, you have. need? Let's see. It should be in like the miscellaneous section. Um. So nothing that I need. Let's sell all of our five millimeter. Uh, and we're going to get let's see here. I need five fifty six. I need, I don't need a bottle cap mine. And I don't need any of these frag mines, so you can have all those. Um, I'll take all your microfusion cells. I'll take all your energy cells. I'll take all your shotgun shells. I'll take, do I have anything that needs an electron? No, because those are for plasma weapons, aren't they? E cells? No, those are energy cells. 32. I don't need any 32 rounds. Let's see. Also, weapons. I need something to fix my. Okay, you can have an empty soda bottle. And some red scorpion glands. I haven't noticed that I need it for anything. If you have a combat shotgun, missile launcher, laser pistol, nope. Fragment. Nope. Okay. <coughs> I'm willing to spend the money for all this stuff because Lord knows Good I need hunting. it. Good hunting. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Okay. Bye. Bottle cap mine. 
railway rifle. I need one steam gauge assembly, one fission battery. Okay, cool beans. So now we have our next job here. What are you doing? Oh, just chilling out. What are you doing? I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Billy says I get too friendly with people I don't know. She says it's dangerous. That is a true statement. All right. I already know all your information about your entire life, so... Bye, lady. You have a good rest of your day, Maggie. You listen to Billy. All right. What next? I guess... Vault Tech Headquarters. Lord knows I don't know how to get to any of these places. Let's take a look for our Stradivarius first. War money. World map. But we're still attached to the little Dave land over there. It's the United States of Dave. <clears throat> tell you enough how much I hate dealing with traveling in this game. Moving around is annoying. I guess I gotta go down in here. Down into the subways again. I hope it was a feral ghoul. Thank you. I'll take that. here that I want or need? Nope. I don't see anything. Takes thir a couple 32 rounds, even though I'm not using the gun. It only does four damage. <clears throat> to mall outpost, to Galaxy News radio outpost. Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. Let's go this way real quick. Let's see if there's anything down here we need to mess around with. Yes, we're just walking up this way. Ah, I think this is an exit. To somewhere. DuPont Circle. DuPont Circle? I don't think so. I think we got 
confused by DuPont Circle before. Let's go this way. Hello? Anybody scary in here? If you're scary, uh, tell me now. So I don't get scared. Thanks. See, the problem that I have is that all of the subways look exactly the same so I honestly legitimately have absolutely no idea if I've been down this way before or not like I don't know if I've been to this DuPont circle exit or a different one or if there's a different one Hurt me. Don't worry about it. Where'd it go? I got a caution real quick and then it went away. This is an exit to somewhere. The door still works, so that's nice. Vernon Square, which I also don't think I need. I need vault Tech headquarters in like, what, what did she call it? DC proper or something? I need to go. I think I have to go up. Okay. Hello? Anybody scary up here? Aha! Uh -huh. You were up here. Stanker. Oh my god. Why you do this to me? Thank you. Looks like this was their hangout spot. They was drinking, doing all kinds of things here. Killing raiders. That's what they were doing down here. bear traps that I should be aware of. Good grief. This is DuPont Circle again. Okay. Well, that's fancy. Uh, not safe, but fancy. What is this? Some kind of barricade against what? I don't know. That's weird. Lockers that don't have anything in them. It's a little strange. 
Not gonna lie. I guess we're getting out here. Vernon Square. Oh, that sounds like a super mutant. Yep. Can we, um... Our guns jam every single time we do anything. Let's do a combat shotgun, I suppose. There we go. So now we can be done. Hey, a motorcycle. Carton of cigarettes. All right. Vault Tech. Huzzah. Okay. Vault Tech headquarters. We'll quick save because Lord knows I don't know what's going to happen. Plus, I think there are some other places in this square that I can find location wise. Hello? Hello? Get me out of here. Everybody's lost their minds. Fancy man statue. Okay. Okay. I won't do it. Well, I'm under fifty percent now. I'm very close to being dead. You want to shoot him again? And actually hit him? That'd be great. Thank you. Do not. Ooh, why are you shooting this car? That's just asking for trouble. You know, I think I only had like an 8% chance of hitting him. Thank you. Holy moly. Shooting up these vision powered cars. This one says radio radiation right on it. Don't shoot at them. Anything else in here want to try to shoot at me? Jerks. What is this? <coughs> ah! Am I too close to use the fat man? Probably, but you know what? I really want to try. I didn't hit him. I mean, I probably did, but I didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I know. It's just now a matter of who's gonna drop first. I guess it was you. <sighs> All right, let's um. Do a couple blood blood packs, some dog meat, some Nuka Colas. Let's 
Let's check radiation levels. Let's do one of these. Okay, rad levels are high. Take a rad X. Danger from who? More super mutants. I'm super mutants. They're little jerks. Awesome, beautiful. <sighs> Let's take out the super mutant with a sniper rifle if we can. Ooh, ah. Okay. Come on out! Oi, 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 it blew it the car up. So this is why we should not be hitting cars with our bullets. Because they blow up. Yeah, where are you? Oh, you're coming out. But did he take some, like, stim packs in there? There. Mm, don't need any of that. Good grief. Okay. What is this place? Empty boxes. Any... Need to be able to see. Any med boxes? Med kits? Don't see any. Yeah, let's take some bullets. I see a safe too. And an ammunition box. <coughs> nope, don't break. There. Oof. Don't need any whiskey. I have discovered Vernon Square Station. I see. Super mutant up here. Hmm. How do I get up? An oven. With a pilot light. It looks like the gas is on. Okay. A new vending machine. Got it. Okay, let's go up, I suppose. Let's see if there's anything else up here of note besides that super mutant we already checked. And then we'll head to the Vault Tech place. And because we already discovered it, we can just fast travel. Thought that was something important, but it's not. It's just trash. Oh, hey. Why, hello. What is this? Another dead super mutant. Cool. I don't know that I'm the one that killed it, but I'll take it. 
new munition box, MF cells, shotgun shells. <gasps> Another combat shotgun. Oh, thank goodness. Could do a little repair. Anything over here that I need to be looking at? I don't think so. Let's go down, I suppose. Is this the same building? Did I just go one way and I could have gone the other? Hmm. Oh, jeez. Well, thank you. Yes, now that it's already blown up. What is this? Oh, this is Our Lady of Hope Hospital. Where does this go to? Oh, this is the main door. All right. Cool beans. Okay, so we already, let's see, do a little, it looks like we got everything in here. Let's go ahead and go to the Vault Tech headquarters. All right, and that is where we'll stop the episode today. Um, okay, here is how we get in there next episode we'll go inside okay so thank you everyone and anyone who's watching and i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next episode bye bye